We are in Microsoft Excel 2013, and I'm going to show you the VLOOKUP command. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup, and we're going to use this particular spreadsheet with these products, parts, and prices. And I'm going to show you how to look up a part or a price, whatever it is you want, very quickly without having to search through a very large spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the these columns D and E for the part and the price and we're going to use A, B, and C for our data. So this is going to be simplified as much as possible. You can actually get very complex with this, but this simple lesson alone will save you a lot of time and it won't take long to learn. So what we want to do is we want to say if we type in a part name such as a laptop and we hit enter it automatically finds the price for us and right now it doesn't do that so let's go ahead and make that happen so in our price category we're going to go ahead and type the equal sign which uh, signifies to Excel that this is going to be a command and we're going to type in VLOOKUP and you can see right away the VLOOKUP menu pops up at the bottom saying okay I know what you want to do here now we're going to do the uh, open parentheses and we're going to go ahead and choose where we want to type in our information so we can do the lookup. Well, we want this to go into D2 right here. So anything I type into D2, all I got to do is double click on D2 and it appears over on the right hand side. And that's a left click. All right, so now I want to put a comma. I got to put a comma between everything. So our next thing we want to do is we want to choose our source information. So we've got our destination. Now we want to choose our source. So our source is going to be uh, everything that's over here, the computers, the laptops, all these different things. And so you see that automatically fills that in. Now we'll go ahead and manually type in a comma. And now we want to know which column are we going to be pulling from. Well, we want, if we type in the part number, we want the price to show up. So we're going to go ahead and type in uh, number three for column three. All right. And then the last thing we want to do is, and this comes up automatically, do you want it true or false? So false is an exact match, whereas true is an approximate match. So if you spell it wrong, then it'll still come up. But we're going to go ahead and choose false for an exact match at this time. And then we're going to close the parentheses right here and hit enter. All right, so now we are ready to type in our part number, part name, I should say, and it, the price will automatically appear over on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and type in our laptop, hit enter, and there's a price. So it shows our 695 price. Of course, we want it to show up uh, with the dollar sign, then just highlight the column, and then we can format the column. Uh, and that is right here. Okay, so if we go in and we change laptop to modem, hit enter, now we've got the price for that. Let's go ahead and change it to the NIC. So you can see how powerful VLOOKUP is and how simple it was to go ahead and take a very large spreadsheet and take that data and use it to look up the price. If you want, you can change this. Instead of uh, showing the third column, we could change it to be the second column. And if we do that, it's going to give us the part number. So we'll go ahead and change this to part number. So we've got that. Now we can also copy and paste that information into our third one. And we could have the price be over and on this side instead. So we could go part, uh, part, part number, and then price, and it'll show all three of them. So that is a simple VLOOKUP command that allows you to get all the information that you need uh, very easily. Quick lookup in Microsoft Excel 2013.